Good morning, Prime Minister Netanyahu, please. Prime Minister Orban, welcome to Jerusalem, to you and to your delegation. I think it's a sign of our great friendship that in the first year of your uh, premiership, you chose to come to Israel and chose to come to Israel during this time of Corona. So you're very, very welcome here. Uh, a few moments ago, I spoke to our colleague, uh, uh, Sebastian Kurtz in Austria. I told him of, that the people of Israel stand with Austria, uh, as I know the people of Romania do and so many others against the savagery of uh, Islamist terrorism. We are cooperating in every way with our intelligence and in every other way that we can. Uh, the same is true of Corona. I spoke yesterday to uh, my friend uh, uh, <coughs> Kyriakos Mitsotakis of uh, Greece to see how we can cooperate on Corona. And just recently, uh, two hours ago, with uh, our colleague uh, Andre Babic of uh, the Czech Republic to see again how we can cooperate and help each other in this. Uh, this is something that happens as a matter of course with Romania. Our friendship has uh, been very, very powerful over many years between the people of Israel and the people of Romania. We have hundreds of thousands of uh, Romanians who came to Israel, and there are a human bridge uh, that familiarizes Israelis with the Romanian culture and familiarize uh, Romanians with Israeli culture. So it's a, a living bridge that is uh, a foundation for our common uh, friendship that is growing. Uh, we are uh, committed to not only to our common past, but to a future. And the future belongs to those who innovate. Uh, innovation is the key to assuring the prosperity, safety, and health of our people in the future. And in this, Israel and Romania are cooperating in many, many fields, in the cybersecurity, in the water management, in agriculture, in uh, uh, health, in uh, space, and many other areas. But the most important thing is that our business sectors, our business people, our entrepreneurs, men and women who have innovation on their minds, let them cooperate. And for this purpose, we're going to sign today uh, uh, a treaty on avoiding double taxation, which, uh, from my experience, has always enhanced uh, trade and investments in a very rapid way. So I think this is, uh, this is very good news for uh, Romania and for Israel. Uh, additionally, I want to thank you, uh, Prime Minister and uh, Romania over the years, for uh, helping us present a sensible case to the EU. We're in a period of peace. We are making peace. We made peace and normalization agreements with three Arab countries in six weeks. So obviously they have a different view of the situation here in the Middle East than some of the traditional bureaucracies of the EU. I think uh, we will continue to value your assistance in explaining uh, to the EU the changing circumstances in the Middle East that are advancing peace and prosperity for all. Uh, you're a great friend. Romania is a friend. You personally are a friend. And so I want to say welcome, friend, to Jerusalem. Welcome. Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu, I'm very happy that uh, uh, this vid visit uh, could be organized <laughs> in a, a very hard uh, period uh, in which uh, the health crisis, uh, the pandemic of uh, COVID-19 uh, put it us uh, in a very difficult situation. Uh, and uh, force us uh, to take a uh, very hard decision. Uh, the mutual interest of Romania and the State of Israel is to expand and deepen our dialogue in different areas of interest. Uh, I would like to express my gratitude for the excellent cooperation with the Israeli authorities during the COVID-19 pandemic. I remember our uh, video conference, which uh, was very useful uh, and uh, very interesting to share uh, experience uh, regard regarding the fight against uh, COVID-19. Today we will explore ways to consolidate the already consistent and extensive political dialogue. In addition to the health sector, our aim is to develop the economic relation and strengthen our cooperation 
in defense and security. I will discuss with Prime Minister Netanyahu the outline of the third session of the Romanian-Israeli intergovernmental consultation scheduled for the first half of the next uh, year. We will be very happy to host uh, this very important uh, uh, meeting of uh, the two governors, which I'm uh, sure uh, will have very clear and concrete uh, results. Uh, the Romanian-Israel Economic Working Group launched just over a month ago is already active in sectors like agriculture, water management, health, new technologies. technologies. Momentum must be maintained in order to prepare joint projects by the next G2G meeting with relevant input from the private sector. I also want to point out to the opportunity to develop a partnership for new technologies and entrepreneurial innovation and salute the shared interest for common projects in the energy sector. Dear uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu, we have witnessed worldwide a significant surge in hate speech and anti-Semitism. I want to reassure you of Romania's unwavering commitment to fight anti-Semitism. The establishment of the National Museum of Jewish History mm -hmm. and Holocaust in Romania is a clear illustration of this commitment. Our meeting will also touch upon the critical importance of building a stable regional security environment in the Middle East. Romania is already firmly committed to continue supporting Israel in its aim to strengthen ties with the European Union. I warmly welcome the recent decision to normalize relations and forge new partnership between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Sudan. These agreements represent a milestone that can create a new momentum for the peace process as well. Last but not least, I am pleased to announce that we will sign today a protocol for amending the convention between our governments for avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion with respect to taxes on income. It will provide for a more suitable framework for new trade and investments between our business. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prime thank Minister. You. Thank thank you, Prime you. Minister. I now have the honor to invite Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, from Israel and Prime Minister Orban from Romania to sign the protocol amending the convention between the government of the State of Israel and the government of Romania for the avoidance of double taxation and the prevention of fiscal evasion with respect to taxes on income signed at Jerusalem on the 15th of June, 1997. Thank you very much. Now you maybe want to have a picture with the agreement signed. 